All right, I'm recording. Good. What's good, y'all? I am back with another video. We're gonna watch this Resident Evil showcase. It came out earlier, but I took me a nap, so we're watching it now. Let's see what's it gonna be. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna go over the game. I'm pretty sure my predictions, Merchant, could they tease it? I don't know. It gives. I feel like this is gonna set the tone of RE4 for some reason. The remake. I don't know why. I feel like they've done something like that with before, but we'll see. Guess we'll see play. I guess I, I got to turn up. Turn up with my headset. Also, I am gonna be eating also while watching this. Christopher in the trailer. Uh, RE6 dash two. I guess what they gonna talk about. Funny story, I actually played, I didn't play RE, I haven't played RE7. I haven't been in RE7. I got the game too. All right, big ass castle. Oh shit. But I don't know, but this is what caught my attention other than RE7. Hey everyone, though. thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here oh, to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content House and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay that you do not want to miss. So without further ado, let's get started. So we'll get a release date. I'm pretty sure he is. Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Like I said, I haven't played RE7, so I don't know what's going on. I feel like conversation small is so great. I am playing on playing RE7. Escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. God damn computer no. just went out. Mother Miranda. Yes, of course. I understand the importance of the ceremony. God damn. I won't. I'm just getting distracted. Down. So this is, must be one of the wishes. What the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Chris is in this game. God, baby. Point to the other trailers. I see some things that already said. I never played or beat it. Who the fuck are you? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> So that's a boss. I think I should explain it. But I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre order this thing? Perhaps producer Pete Fabiano has some answers for us. Let's see what he has to say. Hey everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC. I'm happy to announce 
We've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current generation consoles as well. Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One day and date with next gen. The PS4 version can be upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. And the Xbox One version gives you free access to <laughs> the game on Xbox that. Series X through smart delivery. Sony need to update also that. my pleasure to tell you the way they exactly update you it. It's, it's very game. confusing. It keeps forcing you to update Resident the PS4 Village version. will be available worldwide on May 7th, 2021, with pre-orders kicking off today. Okay. Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. First, we have the Digital Deluxe Edition, available on all platforms. Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. There's also a Collector's Edition for console that includes all the Deluxe Edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield, a steelbook case, poster, and art book. And for those of you who haven't played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 biohazard bundle. This lets you get your hands on the award-winning RE7 while you wait for Resident Evil Village. Pre-order any of these editions and you'll I guess be able to get your hands on I guess that gotta be an Xbox thing, because I think Sony got this game free if you got PS Plus or something. If you got a PS5. During the first few hours of gameplay. Finally, digital pre-orders from the PlayStation Store will receive an exclusive Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. Alright, I've been waiting for this. I know you've been waiting for this. It's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's take a look. I remember when they first showed it, the frame now we're here wasn't to looking too great. Exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. That's what Players I said my first video to this. search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first person perspective. It gives the Resident Evil really four draws back. players into the detailed world we've created. Yeah. Damn it, why my phone? <laughs> Best video on YouTube right now. I had that alarm on because I was cooking. Did I stop the video before I started You'll recording? You see a lot of those little details come to life here. It should look great as hell. What, what, what I got it on? 1080p? The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. From art design to technology, everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. <laughs> now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. <laughs> Let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. Goddamn. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. What do we have to fear some items? Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting. Where so you need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. 
Ooh, rifle. There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. Anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. So you can buy weapons and find weapons also? The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. This is funny. Wait, do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Ah, uh, side missions? Ah, uh, that this shit again. Of course it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Oh, and uh. Death Plenty traps. of surprises to keep you on your toes. I know it gotta be death traps. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. <laughs> That's one way to end the video. Now that we've shown like you what's bosses. in store for Resident Evil Village, let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. So it's gotta be like PT Part 2 or something, what do you call it? Playable teaser. For this demo, players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. Okay. We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo today. on PlayStation 5 today. today. Of course, we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for this sometime spring. this spring. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise, with the very first game releasing in Japan back on March 22nd, 1996. Since then, the series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. From toys and board games, to CG movies, to live-action Hollywood films, Resident Evil has become a cultural icon. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Tsuyoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can expect in 2021. Earlier this month, we started inviting players to join a close beta test. test. The test won't happen until later next week, but I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, we are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. Last September, we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters to start the celebration. Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind that. Let's take a look. Another video game. Uh. What the hell is this? Like the Nintendo Switch graphics.
Our reverse is one of the ways we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of I'm the franchise. I'm glad at least keeping these multiplayer games so separate. So many of the characters that fans love. They did It'll this shit with for RE3. Free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. So be sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest news. And check out the official website for even more details. They trying to push this multiplayer stuff so bad. On behalf of Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft, congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. We can't wait to get our hands on our reverse. For the occasion, we are bringing the celebration to our game, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. Now let's have a look at some of these. I don't think that, that's not gonna make me play, play Division 2 again. Now nah, I get to play as Honk. I mean, I can't even RPD out there. Yeah. Minasama, konnichiwa. Biohazard no Ezo Sakin nite producer o tsumete imasu. Capcom no Kobayashi Yoichi desu. Sakunen hapio shimashita. Full 3D CG animation. Biohazard Infinite Darkness nisuite o hanashitai to moimasu. ゲームでおなじみのレオンとクレアが活躍する物語となっております。え、ゲームがバイオハザード4の後の数年後のお話となっておりまして、レオンがすっつかたでとあるバッシュでゾンビ事件に巻き込まれます。この作品はですね、え